So it is finally time for me to clean out my pantry. I actually did a couple of little things because I just could not handle the mess anymore, but I wanted to show you the before footage. I'm gonna clean everything out. I'm gonna categorize some things and then I will just take you along on the journey. So let's get this thing started. All right, so everything is cleared out that needs to be cleared out. This section and this section, I'm not gonna deal with at the current moment, but I'll probably do something with it before the end of this video. But I've cleared out everything on all of the shelves. They all have these protective liners. These are just like my snacks that I cleared out earlier today. Checked expiration dates, everything's good to go in here, but I will be taking it out in a moment. I utilize this bin that I had. It actually is on casters. It's on this just like little step stool at the moment. I got it from Ikea. If I can find it, I will link it below for you guys. Um, I'm not gonna put the lid on it just because some of the stuff is kind of protruding out. This is all my baking things, and I'm gonna put that in there right now just so it's in there. The challenge that I have with my pantry is that this is such a deep space, it's really difficult to organize because things just kind of get lost as they get shoved back. I do have a whole bunch of organizers that I'm gonna pull out that I just have on hand and I'm gonna just see what works, so we're gonna go from there. Also, these are all of more snacky things. And then this is all the stuff that was in my pantry. Some of the stuff over here to the left-hand side is all expired that just needs to go in the garbage. And then I kind of grouped like items with like items, but I'm gonna refine those groupings a little bit more, take some things out of packaging as I put things back. So I will give you an updated after tour as soon as I am done. Well, hi friends, I am ready to finally reveal my pantry. As some of you know, I've been doing a no spend for this entire month of March. If you guys are interested in watching those vlogs, I will put a link to the entire series down below for you guys. So let's get into my new pantry. So the nice thing about the pantry now is I didn't spend a dime on it. I just repurposed containers and bins that I had had previously. So I will go through shelf by shelf and show you what I did. So on the first shelf here over to the left are all of my instant soups. I have only one can of something, so it's just some black olives. I have some hot chocolate. I've got also in the back here um, some like toaster pastry things and then also one little... <coughs> all right, sorry, got interrupted by the UPS delivery guy. Okay. So in this container here, got some toaster pastries as well as some popcorn. I do have another tin. Oh, this is not another tin, I'm sorry. This is actually from the holidays. These are still good. So these are just some um, chocolate hazelnut, like little wafer things that I have not opened yet. So they're just gonna sit over here. This little thing is just like a three tiered little guy. In the front, I just have some granola bars. I've also got some taco seasoning. And then in here are these like little fruit strip things that I got from Aldi. So that is the top row. Now going down a little further, these are more of my like prepared type foods a little bit. So over here I've got some rice, I've got some bagged potatoes. I also have some like tuna and hamburger helper um, and then some more kind of like pasta type dishes. In the back is all of kind of like lunchy things, like things you would maybe like bring to your office, which those were in my last office, by the way. <laughs> but um, yeah, just kind of like more instant things. So I've got some rice, some ramen, and then also some soup. And then over in this little bin, um, I have all of my crackers currently. So I have some tubes of saltines, my Cheez-Its. I've got these cheese crisps. Um, these are my favorite crackers from Trader Joe's. And then I just deboxed a box of crackers because it was just too big. So I put them in there. So they're all nicely corralled in there. So that is my second row. As for my third row, this is kind of just some random things. So I've got my bread, which is about halfway gone. I've got the peanut butter I'm currently working on. Um, if you guys watch my um, vlogs, you'll know that I, lot, I like to eat a lot. Uh, toast with peanut butter and flax. I also have an extra peanut butter right behind it. So 
That is the one I'm not using at the moment. I also have um, a box of Honey Nut Cheerios, and then over here are all my dried mangoes. Um, those are also something I got at Aldi. All right, and then down below here, um, this is a little bit harder to film. Um, these are just kind of like a bag of snacky things. Um, ugh, I gotta get a little closer here. I've got two bins. So the back one is egg noodles. These are my favorite wheat noodles. I also have some elbow noodles right here. I've also got some wild rice. I've also got some white rice right over here. And then I've got some lentils right behind there. And then over in that little bin over there is just some extra pastas that I haven't used yet. I did have a extra jar of pasta sauce, which I haven't used up all the way, but I did bust into that the other day. And then on the very bottom here, that white bin right there is full of baking supplies. I also have a bag and a half or so, or like maybe like a bag and a quarter of some tortilla chips. That little, that thing right there is my mixture that I use for sweet potatoes. And then this is just like a clear Lazy Susan that I have for some of my other random things. And that's it. That is all I have to share with for my new pantry organization. I love it so, so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, feel free to subscribe. I do home organization as well as reorganization of spaces once in a while on my channel, so feel free to join us and hang out with me if you'd like. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.